Welcome to Too Fond of Books. My name is Janelle and this is another deep dive video into one of the more visually appealing books that I have on my shelves. This is the Doomsday Book, England's Heritage Then and Now. And I've always been fascinated by history and the idea of the Doomsday Book I find also very interesting. And so this is a great collection because it's got um, the entries into the Doomsday Book, but it's got a lot of other great information as well. The Doomsday Book, um, so this is from the synopsis. The Doomsday Book, a fundamental part of the English heritage, is unique in medieval history. There is no comparable record of a complete county. There is no comparable record of a complete country, landowner by landowner, manor by manor, and it draws scholars and historians from all over the world to the public records office in London where the original manuscript is kept. The Doomsday Book, England's Heritage Then and Now, brings this 900-year-old document to life. An introduction by Dr. Elizabeth Hallam describes the background to Doomsday Book. A time chart sets the events of 1086 in the context of the medieval world. A brief essay, Doomsday Life, highlights some intriguing customs and personal details which might be lost in the major part of the text. The central text is divided into 37 counties. Each begins with a general survey and continues with short essays on places chosen for their geographical and social diversity linked to their original doomsday entries. The Country Gazetteer follows with the Doomsday Settlements linked, listed alphabetically by their modern spelling. Each entry contains a brief resume of its Doomsday information and a note wherever possible of its history and present status. So here we're into, this is Bedfordshire. There are over 12,500 entries in the 40 gazetteers and it is a remarkable tribute to English continuity that almost all the doomsday settlements still exist in some form or another. Many churches and mills stand on or near their 1086 sites. This is Buckinghamshire now. So these um, are the Gazetteer uh, entries and I'm just gonna read from one because it's so interesting. So for example, Adstock, Ambrose from William Peveril, some thatched timber framed houses. Ashenden, Richard from Walter Gifford, Viking from Miles Crispin. Hambledon, Queen Matilda, Mill Fishery, 1,000 eels. Mill at Hambledon, Mile End, the 17th century manor house owned by Viscount Hambledon was the birthplace of the 7th Earl Cardigan, who commanded the charge of the Light Brigade at Balclava in 1854. So there's just like, you know, I don't know, I just think it's cool, the, the little snippets of history. So the uh, to finish the synopsis, uh, it says, this is surely England's greatest heritage and the greatest tribute to William I's commissioners that we can see our own lives foreshadowed in the careful lettering of the 11th century scribes. Here in Cheshire. Cornwall. Cumberland. Derbyshire. I'm going to stop when we get to Hampshire and take a bit of a closer look because I've got some ancestors from Hampshire. Devonshire.
Dorset. Essex. Gloucestershire. And so again, this is another book where you can just dive in and out and learn just interesting little tidbits about history and the different areas of, um, of the country. So we are now in Hampshire. And so we need to go south because my ancestors were from um, Southampton. All right, I'm gonna turn it around here for a second. Southampton, King's Land, 65 Frenchmen and 31 Englishmen from 1066. The king granted property to churchmen, nobles, a doctor, an engineer, a naval officer, and the abbess of Werrell, who received a fishery and a little land. So that's the entry that was in the Doomsday Book. Then the note added to it is important industrial port with a history dating back to Roman times. The ancient town walls are still visible. <laughs> so there you go. I have um, my great grandfather was a Bobby in Southampton before he emigrated here to Canada. And this is Her Herefordshire. Herefordshire, I can't say that one. <laughs> oh, what was this one? Huntingtonshire, which I don't know if this is still it doesn't sound familiar to me. Kent. Lancashire. Leicestershire. Lincolnshire, Middlesex, Norfolk, Northamptonshire, I'm going to read another entry from uh, the original Doomsday entries because I find them so interesting. Nottinghamshire, let's see, where should I read from? Oxfordshire, let's read from there because that's awesome. Okay, are you ready? Banbury, Bishop of Lincoln, Four Mills, and um, that was the entry then, and the note says, town famed for its cakes since 1608. Banbury Cross, built in 1859, replaced the original, which was destroyed by Puritans in 1602. <laughs> Let's see, Bletchingdon, Gilbert from Robert Doyley, Alfie the Sheriff, Mill. And that's what would have been written in the Doomsday Book. The note says, the original house in Bletchington Park, fortified for Charles I during the Civil War, was captured by Cromwell. Let's move over a page and see what they have to say about Oxford itself. 
Oxford, Kingsland Royal Borough, also various landholders and burgesses holding 243 dwellings. That's what is, was written in the Doomsday Book. The note says, University City, allegedly founded as a nunnery by Frideswide, who died in 735. The first college, University College, dates from 1249. The city was the royalist headquarters during the Civil War. Rutland, Shropshire, let's see, <laughs> here you go, here's Little Wenlock in Shropshire, Church of St. Milburga before and after 1066, two enclosed hunting woods, Eyrie of Falcons. Ooh, the note says compact under the reckon densely wooded. There you have it. So I don't know, is it just me that finds this stuff interesting? <laughs> or is this interesting to you as well? Because I just, I like being able to dive in and out and find little snippets of history. This is Somerset. I like that they include photographs in here of the various counties, Staffordshire, Suffolk, Surrey, Sussex, Now Sussex includes Rye, I've been to Rye, so let's see what they have to say about Rye in the Doomsday Book. Rye is a cool village on the south coast. All right, Rye, see page 272. All right then. All right, so this is what they had to say. The abbot of Fee Camp holds rye from the king and held it from King Edward. Then it answered for 200 hides, now for 17 and a half hides, land for 35 plows, in lordship one plow. 100 villagers, less one, have 43 plows. Five churches which pay 64 shillings, 100 salt houses at eight pounds 15 shillings, Meadow, seven acres, woodland, two pigs from pasturage. In this manner is a new borough. 64 burgesses pay eight pounds less two shillings. In Hastings, four burgesses and 14 smallholders pay 63 shillings. Robert of Hastings holds two and a half hides of this manor from the abbot. Whirl half a hide. They have four villagers, four cottagers, and two plows. Value of the whole manor before 1066, 34 pounds. Now the abbot's lordship, 50 pounds. The men's, 44 shillings. <laughs> awesome. So there you go. Now you know how many plows they had, how many men they had. But of course, this was important, right? They needed to know, was it land that could be worked? And if so, how much, um, how many men were available to do that? How many men were available to fight, etc.? Warwickshire. Westmoreland. Worcestershire. Mmm, I love Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> Yorkshire. Beautiful. I would love to visit Yorkshire. Let's see what one of them says actually from Yorkshire. Maybe they have a lot of sheep or something. Hemingborough. Hemingbrow. In Hemingbrow, there are three Karukats taxable which two plows can plow. 
Tosti held this as one manor. Now the king there has there five villagers and three small holders with two plows. A priest is there and church. Meadow, seven acres, woodland pasture, half a league long and as wide, and in all, one league long and half wide. Value before 1066, 40 shillings. Now, 16 shillings. Oh dear. All right, so there you go. There is my doomsday book, Then and Now. This is the West Riding. What do you think? Is this interesting to you? If it's not, you're probably not still watching this video. <laughs> and I'm not offended, I swear. North Riding. And then there's a glossary at the end. So there you go. So do you have family or ancestors from England? Is there a particular uh, county or area that you would be most interested in? I would love to chat about that. And I will see you for another video soon. Bye.